Hi everyone, it's Patricia from TarantulaHeaven.com. Today I wanted to give you guys an update about what's been going on with my roach colony. Um, if you guys have been on the channel before, you know I have a dubia roach colony that is now many generations deep. And two months ago I made a video about one of my older dubia roaches giving birth and it seems like we're about to have another litter of these guys. Um, I came in to... Uh, feed my roaches and give them some new potatoes. And I found one of them with like white stuff coming out of her bottom. <laughs> and it looked like a, some sort of egg sac. Um, and just so you guys know, um, roaches, or at least doobie roaches do not uh, give birth to technically egg sacs. It's more of like a, a live birth. It's kind of like a sac, but they actually end up hatching into live roaches during the process. So. Um, it's not really a sack, but I think it's like the beginning of something. And so when I posted that video two months ago, I had actually just caught the age, the, the end stage of the birth. I didn't actually see the birth happen. And so um, this time, I think I'm actually seeing the beginning of it. And I, so I started filming and unfortunately there's going to be a part two because um, one, this birth is taking a very long time. This is 24 hours later to when I start, started filming. And also because my phone ran out of storage. So I have to transfer all the, the videos onto my computer before I can get the next, next batch of videos edited. And yeah, just a lot of technical stuff. So I found a lot of really interesting things. So I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about what I'm noticing. And I can't actually find much information about this. So if you guys are more experienced and you know more about cockroaches than I do and their birth process, please enlighten me because I can't find the information. So as I was seeing this, you know, white thing, white sack like thing out of my dubia roaches behind, I thought it was gonna happen right then and there. So I started filming. But what I actually witnessed was that other roaches were coming up to her. And I was like, okay, that's interesting. I wonder, I wonder if they know what's going on. And I think that they actually did because I think that I witnessed them actually trying to help her through the process, which is like kind of adorable and also kind of weird. Um, I actually, I'm not really sure if they were helping or, or trying to eat the sack. I'm not really sure. But what I witnessed was that she, you know, would start walking around and these little roaches who are possibly her children or like a litter of her children, because they're younger than her and smaller, um, they would be like attaching themselves to the sack and pulling it back. So it was kind of like creating this, you know, tug of war. And maybe that's to help this the birth happen along, like, you know, kind of like a doctor will help uh, a birth, a human birth along, but um, they would also be kind of opening the sack too. And this like fluid stuff would be coming out a little bit, not much, but a little bit. So I wonder if they were ripping the like sack thingy open so that it would create an opening for the babies. I really, I really don't know. And there's not a lot of information that I was able to find about this particular part. So, you know, the mom would move around or the mom-to-be would move around and these the, her little roaches would continue to find her. And I saw several different roaches of different sizes come and, you know, try to assist her. And it seemed like sometimes that they were actually working together. Like, you know, the one of the roaches would, um, you know, try to pull back and then she would try to like push forward and she would even sometimes like push them away with one of her legs. Um, there was a point where I, I witnessed her even with one of her legs trying to push the egg sac out of her a little bit more. So it's it's been very interesting to watch. And I think you guys are gonna like the videos. One thing that was also interesting that I've never seen before was that it seemed like she was having contractions. So that was cool. I didn't know that they did that. Um, and so it was really more of just that for hours. I was like so paranoid about missing it, but it seems like the birth is not going anywhere. I don't know if this is supposed to take a long time, if this is good or bad, but she's still 24 hours later, pretty much in the same exact space that she was in yesterday. So I hope she's okay. <laughs> um, she seems to be doing all right. Um, so I did witness her, you know, after all that kind of resting and um, she ate some food and um, I saw her kind of go into like her, the dark of the egg carton. So I figured she probably wants to be left alone. And I thought she was going to complete the birth there, but she hasn't. 
So I'm just kind of waiting to get the next round of footage and I hope that I'm actually able to get the next part that's gonna happen. Um, interestingly enough, in my in trying to find research about this, I didn't find much things that would help me in this situation, but I did find some other weird videos of cockroaches giving birth. And one that I'll link below is a video of a, uh, a cockroach giving birth on a tarantula's legs because like the tarantula wasn't hungry. And I think that's a really interesting thing and, and proof that like tarantulas don't always want to attack or you know like if they're if they're not hungry a lot of them won't eat so this cockroach actually gave live birth on the tarantula so you guys have to watch that video i'll link it below and so yeah just waiting for the next part um so next week i'll put another video out with an update hopefully with more cool footage and i'd love to know what you guys think about this this is the first time i've seen anything like this especially the communal behavior of the other cockroaches interacting with this pregnant one so I don't know if you guys have ever seen that, but I certainly haven't. So please let me know what you think. And I hope you guys have a great Tarantula Tuesday. And I hope I have another round of cockroach babies soon. Bye.